Who's that, Jensen? Who are you playing with? Oh, these. Yeah. Oh, the bird. The bird, yeah. Is it dinner time already? Do I have to make dinner again? Why does this happen every day? Hi guys, I just got home from coaching. My husband just got home from work. He picked up Jensen, so we're all kind of meeting up for the first time today. What time is it already? It is 5.30, so I definitely didn't have time to go to the store or anything, so I'm about to make dinner. I think we're doing chimichangas tonight, which sounds pretty good. I have a home chef meal in the fridge, so I'm glad that I can just get that out and make that right now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to make one of their meals, and if you are ever interested in getting a couple meals per week from Home Chef, if you're a mom like me or a teacher like me and you just don't have a ton of time when you get home, or even like the brain power to just think of a recipe to make, then it's really nice to have Home Chef. So I'm gonna start getting some things out. We'll make some dinner together, and then I'm gonna take you to school with me tomorrow and my sixth graders are gonna do this really fun activity where they make cuneiform coins on clay and they use a little stylus to you know, write in cuneiform. So that's gonna be really fun. We're gonna eat right now, relax a little bit, do a little bit of work, and then get up and go to work again tomorrow because it will be Friday, yes. Yeah, all right, chicken chimichangas. Yesterday we did these jerk beef meatballs. They were actually really good and like the little side salad with them. Super yummy. Okay, I like to just do this and let this sit here and be my instructions. Neither of us like sour cream, so these are going in the trash. And even though I'm weird and don't like cheese, my husband does, so I will keep this for him. Okay, fine. I got these pans at Target, like these baking sheets, and I really like them. I use them so much. Okay, so while that's happening, I'm supposed to make the rice. You guys, we lost our game again today. <laughs> I was so bummed. It was seriously game one. You know, like volleyball, you usually have two games or three games in middle school anyway. The first game, oh my gosh, like we were kind of trailing and then we came back and we just had like the greatest volleys back and forth. Like it was so, so good. They were concentrating so hard and they were running after every single ball and all of their serves were going over. And we caught back up till within two. But we were down like 24 to 18 or something. I think we came all the way back to 23 and held them at 24. And then uh, I think we just, we hit it out or something. And then we lost that first game. And then we went into the second one and we were doing really well. And uh, it just sucks to lose. It's such a bummer. But we've got uh, a tournament coming up and another week of playoffs. Oh my gosh, next week is gonna be crazy busy for me. It is fun though, I have like the best team this year. I have such a good group of girls. So anyway, we need to make this rice, right? Okay, uh, I need a small pot with rice and water and salt. What is happening with my hair today? I'm, I'm really not sure. <laughs> okay, while this is all coming together, I need to make some tea. Like it's, what time? 5.55, okay. I did not have coffee today, did I not? Oh no, I had some this morning, but it's been like almost 12 hours, so. <laughs> oh, what Jensen's drink. But I need some caffeine. Why are you yelling? <laughs> okay, let's pick some tea. Sometimes I have coffee at this time, but I think I'm just gonna go with tea. This is our little tea basket. This is my favorite tea of all time, Nutcracker Sweet. I have to get it on Amazon though, because I can never find it in store, but it's so good around the holidays. I might have that. This one is nice for nighttime, but it's caffeine free. I don't really want caffeine free right now. Why are you yelling? Hi. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, this is another one that I get on Amazon because I bought it in store and then couldn't find it. Again, I think I'm gonna go with this one, but I love that it's black tea and lavender. We just have some green tea, and this is Yorkshire Gold. This is always good to have. Oh, this is another good one, this coconut chai. Ooh, maybe I want this right now. Okay, yeah, I think I do. And this is good, too, because it's organic and fair trade.
kind of divide and conquer. My husband just went to Target, so we're out of a couple things. So I'm making dinner. I think he has a paper to write tonight. So it's good that we've got dinner coming. And then, oh, there's some structured academic controversy stuff that I want to work on tonight. I've got a few like lesson plan things to work on later. So we'll get to that. Yum, all right, and they know what they're doing because this chicken turned out so nice and juicy. And then our rice is still cooking. This is all coming together. Mmm, does it look good? Uh, 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 I you. Carry you? Carry you. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is the shredded chicken. It looks really good. And then I'm gonna put it in these tortillas and then you wrap up you know, the chicken in the tortillas and actually drizzle olive oil on it and then put them back in the oven. That just sounds so good. And then I'm gonna put some of this cilantro in the rice. Like I would make this dinner for a company if people were coming over. It's not too hard and I just think it's gonna turn out so good. So I'm excited. I'm gonna put some cheese in Derek's but not in mine. And I'm just cutting up the um, jalapeno last because I didn't want it to make everything else hot. Okay, the chimichangas are done and they look really good but Derek's not home from Target yet. So so I'm gonna show you the lesson that I'm working on for Monday. I already have everything planned for tomorrow, but with my eighth graders, I'm gonna do a structured academic controversy. And I'm just starting with like a really easy topic. So I have a blog post about how to do structured academic controversies and I will link that below. But let me show you just my process for how I am setting it up. So I'm just making, sorry, this is like horrible lighting, but um, I'm doing one on daylight savings time and then like this gold and the clock and stuff. This is just um, clip art that I got on Etsy a while ago when I was making a wrinkle in time resource. So, okay, I'm just gonna get all my information from procon.org and they have, let's see, they have one on daylight savings time. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay, so daylight savings time. So it'll give us the top three cons and the top three pros. And actually, here's all the background information. So um, daylight savings time is coming up soon or like, you know, it's ending. So half of the teams will be on the pro side, half will be on the con side. So I don't have to really prepare a lot of information for them. It's all right here. This is my favorite thing about procon.org. I'm just going to prepare all of the instructions on a PowerPoint so that they can like look and see what to do because it is very structured like the name would suggest so I just do all of my work basically ahead of time and then they do all the work on the day of because I think this is such an important uh, skill for our kids to have so I love to do this and you know this is a controversial issue but you know whether or not we should have daylight savings time it's nothing that you know kids are gonna like lose friendships over so this should be fine. We start small and then we will work our way up, but um, I'm gonna get started on this and we will eat soon. Oh. Okay, okay. What are you eating? Yeah, what is that, pasta? Is that pasta? It's a couch dinner night because why? Because the Lakers are first game from Brooklyn. <laughs> it's an important night, a historic night. On the front. Mm -hmm. Can you just write your name? But you want it to be really full. You know, you want to have like lots of words on there. You could write your name over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> 
purple essence. I keep it quick like a turtle breakfast. Time's up, better learn your lesson. What a being a turtle. Okay, so before I let them in, and it gets super crazy, uh, we have turned the classroom into a clay coin mint today, and my students are scribes, and they're gonna write in cuneiform on these little pieces of clay. They're gonna turn these into little coins. I just got this on Amazon, I'll link it. It's fine, it was enough for two classes of 35 or 36 I think um, to each make a coin so you know that's about 70 kids worth of little coins and the last class already did it and so there's our drying over here and this is what they turn into and they're just gonna dry over the weekend and they wrote their names next to them so they can find them because they all end up kind of looking the same okay let's start the madness and let the crazies in Alright, scribes. Are you ready to write in command for him? Yeah! Okay, come on in. And here's what I'm thinking. We can uh, poke a hole in them, and then we can put a string through it, and you could like wear it as a necklace. So you're going to make a cuneiform coin, and I'll show you. All right, can you see this one? Okay, so this one looks really good. Fine, it says there. You want it to be really uh, full of cuneiform. So that's why we're writing like your name and a quote so that you have a lot of stuff to put on your coin. I think this person forgot to put a hole in it, but you can take um, just like a pen or a pencil and just poke a hole in the top and then after it dries, you could like wear it as a necklace. Okay. Get me out of here, I didn't tie your Okay, what's your quote? Oh wow, how do you say that in cuneiform? What does it look like? Oh, still working on it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um <laughs> my Okay. Oh, sorry. I learned all about life with the ball at making because I play soccer. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> What's yours gonna be? My quote is reach for the stars until your hand catches them. <laughs> I'm finally done with my full name. Oh, hi. Hi. I made this. Made this. Look how Ooh, that's so nice. I'm finally done with my full name. <laughs> What's your quote gonna be? Uh, the worst thing about betrayal is that it doesn't come with your enemies. That's a good one. <laughs> you have to believe. <laughs> what does that look like in the ancient language? Let's see. Ooh. What does it say? I like it. What does it say on it? It says good vibes and then my name. Ooh, cute, cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. It has been a crazy day, a crazy Friday, but definitely a good day. So let me let me see here. Okay. So last night I got like a million emails from my 8th graders because they had a paper due and something was wrong with like Google Drive and it wasn't letting anybody in. So we started class and had to like fix all of that and then as we were starting a quiz, the fire alarm went off. One of the cooking classes burned something. So we all had to go outside for the fire drill. And then we came back and like class was pretty much over. So then the next class that came in was the dancing sixth graders. <laughs> and they did all of their little cuneiform uh, coins. And then after their class was another eighth grade class, but everything was a mess. There was like clay everywhere and their little papers and everything. So then that eighth grade class just went outside and we, we did that class outside, which was great. Like it's perfect weather right now. This is like, 
you know, Southern California fall where it's not too hot, but it's definitely not cold. So we just sat outside. It was awesome actually. And they took their quizzes and like finished up their papers that they couldn't get turned into me yesterday. And then the next class to come back in was sixth graders again. So we did more coins. And then the superintendent actually was on campus. And so he came in and like watched them do their little cuneiform writing on their coins and stuff. So yeah, now it's my prep and then I have two more eighth grade classes. So I'm thinking about taking them outside also, even though now everything's cleaned up, but yeah, it's been a crazy day, but super fun. It was so great to go outside and um, this activity was just a nice one to do for the, the sixth graders, just kind of putting some, oh, phone be quiet. Just putting some of the things that we learned into practice, I mean, Obviously, it's not like this is a day where we're like hitting a ton of standards, but it's just cool to see what people did in the past and then actually try it out, like actually try to make the letters that they made and, and you know, make something that they would have made way back then. So my camera is about to die. This keeps on happening to, to me, but thank you for coming along with me. Don't forget to check out Home Chef and use my code so that you can get a $30 discount. Our meal last night was so, so good. I want to make that like all the time so thank you guys for watching sorry my camera's dying again but we had a great day i hope that you can use something from this i'll see you later bye